YouTube, it's your boy Fresh D, back to back like the Warriors in the finals, bye bye LeBron, wherever he ends up, nobody really cares. So today what we're gonna be doing is cleaning these trash uh, anniversary Air Max 1s. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be using a laundry kit. We are gonna actually use the kit today. I know the last couple of times we had the bad boy out and didn't actually end up using it, but today we're definitely gonna need it for these. So let's get into this cleaning guys and uh, see if we can bring these back to life. So the first thing we're gonna do guys, we're gonna decide, uh, I guess it's been pre-decided by our cameraman Aaron over there, we're gonna clean the left shoe today. So put the right shoe to the size. First step as always, adjust your shoe trees. Just wanna pop this up and just clamp this down to release the metal clamp over here, or it's not really a clamp, but release the metal piece to adjust your shoe tree to size. These are, I'm not even sure what size these are, a size 10. So if I had to guess based on previous experience, I'd say it's probably about the sixth hole. So I'm gonna pop these in, not enough tension. So that's a good test when you guys are trying to figure out the size, pop the shoe tree in and just test for tension. Um, you wanna have some tension, not enough that it's super difficult to clamp it down, but see, again, that wasn't enough. I think I actually went the wrong direction. So <laughs> let's go up the other way. So try fifth hole. That's not enough tension. You wanna adjust it one more time. This is why we usually do it off camera, so we get it right the first time. But you guys are seeing it raw right here. Boom, there you go. So there's the appropriate tension that you want. Um, next step, what you're gonna wanna do, remove your shoelaces. Aaron will probably do some little speed montage. Now that we got the laces removed, we can put these to the side. We'll remember to clean those later. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, or second thing we're gonna do, we'll pop the shoe tree in. Uh, take our solution. Oh yeah, you, you set me up, Aaron. All right, so we gotta remove the seal. Always the first step with your solution. When you get it brand new out of the packaging, they do come sealed. So you just wanna remove your seal. Cool, so we get a couple squares of our solution in the bowl some Vic size squirts. So we're gonna take our mixture there, get our soft bristle brush we're starting with today because of this mesh material and this uh, suede material up here. It's not really a suede, it's like some synthetic that Nike uses on these shoes. Um, so we start with our soft bristle brush, get this mesh on this upper. Actually, I'm gonna start one thing first. Since I just got the toe box with this lighter material, I wanted to see if the eraser can remove some of these marks before we hit that. That is why I had it out here. On this lighter material right here by the swoosh, I'm just gonna try the eraser and see if we can lighten some of that up before we actually clean it with the solution. Um, with the eraser, it's pretty simple. You just wanna lightly brush over it and just try to see if you can do this. It's really good on like suede materials and stuff. I always tend to use a dry method like I've stated in other videos. Eraser is definitely the way to go. It did lighten it up a little bit. Not enough that I'd say we continue doing the whole thing with the eraser. Um, you can see a little comparison. This side is obviously a little bit lighter than this side. Um, and that's just testing the eraser. Like I said, you do want to test certain things first. I always like a dry method, especially when doing suede. So I'll always try to test an area with the eraser. Um, sometimes I won't even have to clean the entire shoe, especially if it's a spot. Uh, I personally wear a lot of New Balances and sometimes I'll like hit something and get a mark on it. Usually just use the eraser to remove that mark instead of having to clean the entire shoe. So like, like I said, it lined up a little bit, but not enough that I want to continue doing it. So it's a good thing we had it out here to try it, but we don't really need it. So let's get back into just our soft bristle brush here and just finish cleaning the entire upper of the shoe. So the one thing I wanna address with this anniversary Air Max um, is this red mudguard material. Um, we thought 
it was gonna bleed, or we weren't sure if it was gonna bleed, I should say. Um, I know that's a lot of thing I've heard from people that own pairs is they got it dirty and weren't sure about cleaning it because they were afraid that it was gonna bleed. So as you can see, it actually isn't bleeding, which is pretty good. So if you do have a pair, I would say you should be okay to clean them. Um, like I said, we are gonna throw these in the laundry, so that'll be the ultimate test also. But I, I am not seeing any bleeding, nothing in the water, nothing on the brush. So this material doesn't bleed from what it appears. But like I said, the laundry, the laundry kit, once we throw it in there and take it out, that'll be the true test if the material really did bleed or not. All right, so we're about finished up with the soft bristle brush. Now we're gonna move on to our all-purpose brush. Um, so I definitely wanna go over this mesh again because this mesh is still pretty dirty. Uh, I'm surprised with how clean the soft brush alone got um, this like suede material up here. Um, as you guys can see, it got pretty clean. I'm actually surprised. I thought I was gonna have to definitely go over that with the all-purpose. So we'll just go back over the, um, some of the mesh materials, definitely the tongue with the all-purpose, and then we'll move on to our stiff bristle brush and throw these in the laundry. So as I'm starting to clean the mesh on this toe box, I will say that it's pretty delicate. So if you do decide to use your all purpose on this toe box, I would just be pretty gentle with it. Um, what I'm doing is just kind of going in one direction. Um, it isn't fraying it, but it looks like it could potentially do that. So I'm just being really delicate and I suggest you do the same thing if you do decide to clean that and use the all purpose to get out some deeper stains. Um, just kind of be cautious. Um, just go lightly in one direction you should be good. Again, we are gonna throw these in the laundry, so that'll ultimately help clean that mesh up really well. All right guys, so we went ahead and finished up with our all purpose. Again, like I said, it was just a few things I wanted to touch up. I went back over the toe box a little bit. Again, just going in one direction because this uh, mesh is pretty delicate. Um, so went back over the toe box, cleaned the, the nylon around the liner. Um, we're gonna just step into the stiff bristle brush. Um, with this, we're just gonna clean the midsole and the outsoles, then go ahead and throw these in the laundry. Um, so let's just go ahead and get that. As you can see, it's not too bad. The one thing I do want to point out though, this is a painted midsole. Um, so we actually might just want to test it first. If not, I'll just go back to the all purpose. Um, Cause there is already some scuff marks on here. So I don't want to damage it any further. So I'm just going to test this little small front piece in the, in the front. Um, again, we advise usually don't paint, don't use this on a painted midsoles, I should say. Um, Yeah, so I'm not even gonna go ahead and try it with this. Uh, I'm just gonna use the all-purpose to do that. Uh, just because I don't want to damage this any further. This midsole on these Air Max ones is pretty porous also. So it does have the tendency to appear like it, you flake some of the paint off. Um, so I'm just gonna use the all-purpose to clean that. We didn't use a stiff brush on the midsole, but I am using a stiff brush on the outsole. So we go ahead and grab that and wrap this up and throw these bad boys in the wash. All right guys, got these outsoles clean. I'm just gonna pat these down just to get a look at them, see where our progress is. These look pretty clean. I'm gonna go over this little section one more time just because this piece was originally white. As you can see, it's beige now. Um, so just hit that up and then we'll throw these in the laundry. All right guys, so now that we got the pre-treat done on these Air Max ones, um, we'll just go ahead and throw these in the laundry bag. Aaron, where's the laundry bag? <laughs> what do you mean? It's right there. Hold your hand out. The freeze. Thanks Aaron. Way to go. All right, now that we got our laundry bag, got our shoe pre-treated, take your shoe, put it in the laundry bag, don't forget one step that I just realized. We got to clean our laces. So we are gonna take our laces, dip it in our bowl of solution, just rub them together in your hands. Cool, so take your laces, throw them in to your bag with your shoe. Fasten the middle strap. It's good to tie a knot in these so they don't come loose because these have came loose in the washer. So to avoid your shoe flying out the bag, make sure you do lock it and also tie a knot behind the lock. Cool, so now that we got these secure, Let's go throw these in the laundry. All right guys, we are back. Let these dry, which actually didn't take too long in this AZ heat. 
maybe like five minutes out the, out the washer and they were dry. Um, one thing I will mention though is we did throw these back in there a second time only because we weren't as happy with how white the toe box came out. Uh, it came out pretty good for the most part. The only thing I will point out is these two marks right here were definitely from wear areas, high wear areas, um, where there's, the shoe obviously creased. So that lightened up, but it didn't come out completely. So just something to note. And then a few other things on the midsole. Uh, the shoe already had scuffs on it. So there's like a paint scuff right here and another small one up front. Um, I'm sure Aaron caught that in the B-roll earlier. So if you run that back, you'll be able to see that. So we're gonna go ahead and lace these up and wrap up this cleaning, guys. All right, guys, finished lacing these up. That about wraps up this cleaning on these Air Max One anniversaries. I think these came out pretty good, to be honest with you. Uh, outside of the scuffs, which is something we obviously couldn't control, I'm pretty happy with the results, man. Um, it did lighten up the mesh a lot. I mean, the results speak for themselves. If you compare it to the dirty one, I mean, it's pretty much like night and day. So to clean these today, we went ahead and used our three brush sneaker laundry system. Uh, you can find that at rejuvenator.com. We also use our sneaker laundry detergent. Don't forget our handy dandy little collapsible bowl, which is one of my favorite products. Um, so all the products that we use in this video, guys, you can find at rejuvenator.com. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe if you guys aren't already subscribed. We're doing Yeezy giveaway every month. Free Yeezys, everybody likes free Yeezys. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, link will be down in the corner. Our link will be up in the corner, I should say. Also down in the description. Uh, leave us some feedback. Let, let us know what you guys thought about this cleaning. Uh, any other shoes you guys want us to clean. So that's gonna be Fresh D guys, signing out.